What's up, Sexy Mafia? What it do? This your girl, Sexy B, coming to you live. And last night was the, the president debate. I watched it. I was really entertained watching it. You know what I mean? Right now, who y'all think gonna win? I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the clips that I thought. Because I can't remember the I can't remember everything that, that they said. But I'm, I, I did record yesterday. So I'm going to put some of the clips that I thought was a little like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can talk about it in the comments, whatever the case may be. But I had to do a little intro. If y'all new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click that button. Go ahead and click that like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. If y'all coming back, welcome. What it do? Let's get to watching this video. I'm gone. Bounce back and it bounced back and it went to their benefit. But I was the one that created them. They know it and so does everybody else. He got his haircut. Right. So Donald Trump has no plan for you. And when you look at his economic plan, it's all about tax breaks for the richest people. I am offering what I describe as an opportunity economy. And the best economists in our country, if not the world, have reviewed our relative plans for the future of America. What Goldman Sachs has said is that Donald Trump's plan would make the economy worse. Mine would strengthen the economy. What the Wharton School has said is Donald Trump's plan would actually explode the deficit. She needs some water. 16 Nobel laureates have described his economic plan as something Look that would face. increase inflation and by the middle of next year would invite a recession. You just have to look <laughs> at where we are and where we stand. This man can't issues. be I real. Invite you to know that Donald <laughs> Trump what the fuck has you talk no about. plan for you because he is more interested in defending himself than he is in looking out for you. That's just a soundbite. They gave her that to say. <laughs> they gave her that soundbite. School of Finance, and many of those professors, the top professors, think my plan is a brilliant plan. It's a great plan. It's a plan that's going to bring up our, our worth, our value as a country. It's going to make people want to be able to go and work and uh, create jobs and create a lot of good, solid money for our, <laughs> for our country. And just to finish off, uh, she doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan. And it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. Four <laughs> sentences that are just, oh, we'll try and lower taxes. She doesn't have a plan. Take a look at her plan. She doesn't have a plan. Mr. President, I do want to drill down on something you both brought up. Uh, the vice president brought up uh, your tariffs. You responded and across the board. You recently you're said that ugly, you might double yeah. your plan, imposing tariffs up to 20% on goods coming into this country. As you know, many economists say that we tariffs at that level yes, costs are then passed on to the consumer. Vice President Harris has argued it'll mean higher prices on gas, food, clothing, medication, arguing it costs the typical family nearly $4,000 a year. Do you believe That's Americans crazy. can afford higher prices because of tariffs? They're not going to have higher prices. What's going to have and who's going to have higher prices is China and all of the countries China. that have been ripping us off for years. China. I, charge, I was the only president ever. China was paying us hundreds of billions of dollars, and so were other countries. And, you know, if she doesn't like them, they should have gone out and they should have immediately cut the tariffs. But those tariffs are there three and a half years now under their administration. We are going to take in billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation perhaps in the history of our country because I've never seen a worse period of time. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. These, the people of our country are absolutely dying with what they've done. They've destroyed the economy. And all you have to do is look at a poll. The polls say 80 and 85 and even 90 percent that the Trump economy was great, that their economy was terrible. Vice President Harris, I do want to ask for your response. And you heard what the president said there, because the Biden administration did keep a, a number of the Trump tariffs in place. So how do you respond? Well, let's be clear that the Trump administration resulted in a trade deficit, one of the highest we've ever seen in the history of America. He invited trade wars. You want to talk well, about his question. deal with China? What he ended up doing is under Donald Trump's presidency, he ended up selling American chips to China to help them improve and modernize their military, basically sold us out. 
when a policy about China should be in making sure the United States of America wins the competition for the 21st century, which means focusing on the details of what that requires, focusing on relationships with our allies, focusing on investing in American-based technology so that we win the race on AI, on quantum computing, focusing on what we need to do to support America's workforce so that we don't end up having the, the, on the short end of the stick in terms of workers' rights. But what Donald Trump did, let's talk about this, with COVID, is he actually thanked President Xi for what he did during COVID. Look at his tweet. Thank you, President Xi, exclamation point, when we know that she was responsible for lacking and not giving us transparency about the origins of COVID. President Trump, I'll let she you answer the question. The we want the chips from Taiwan. We hardly <laughs> make chips Taiwan. anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policy. Everything <laughs> that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy, but if she ever got elected, she'd change it, and it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. But when you look at what she's done to our country, and when you look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21, that's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. Many of these I don't know who the hell I'm voting for this, man. man. This might be crazy, man. Sitting so here trying to watch this shit. Both of this shit is like a joke. Well, shit is like a joke. They have, and she has, destroyed our country what with they? policy that's insane. Almost policy that you'd say they have to hate our country. President Trump, thank you. Let's see. Comment right now what y'all think. Who y'all think gonna win? Comment right now, let me know, man. Shit crazy. Cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. And I will tell you the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. You will not hear him talk about your needs, your dreams, and your need and your desires. And I'll tell you, I believe you deserve a president who actually puts you first. And I pledge to you that I will. Vice President Harris, thank you. President Trump, on that point, I want to get your response. Well, I would like to respond. Let me just ask, though, why did you try to kill that bill? And successfully so, that would have put thousands of additional agents and officers on the board. First, let me respond as to the Please. rallies. She said people start leaving. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's busing them in and paying them to be there. Really? And then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, really? the most incredible rallies in the history really? of politics. That's because people want to take their country back. Our country is being lost. We're a failing nation. And it happened three and a half years ago. And what, what's going on here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. <laughs> the dogs. The they're eating <laughs> They're eating the pets <laughs> of the people stupid. that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as the rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase. Make America great again. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify, you bring up <laughs> Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, I've seen this, people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... People on television say my dog was taken and <laughs> used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television say my dog was eaten by <laughs> the people that went there. Again, the Springfield City Manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice we'll President Harris, that. I'll let you respond to the rest of the Oh, Lord. 
Yeah, I'm done with this shit, boy. This man dumb as shit. This is, I think, one of the reasons why. A fucking joke. Election. I actually have the endorsement of 200 Republicans who have formally worked with President Bush, Mitt Romney, and John McCain, including the endorsement of former Vice President Dick Cheney and Congress member Liz Cheney. And if you want to really know the inside track on who the former president is, if he didn't make it clear already, just ask people who have worked with him. His former chief of staff, a four-star general, has said he has contempt for the Constitution of the United States. His former national security advisor has said he is dangerous and unfit. Mm -hmm. His former secretary of defense True has statement. said the nation, the republic, would never survive another Trump term true statement and when we listen to this kind of rhetoric when the issues that affect the american people are not being addressed i think the choice is clear in this election President Trump, i'll give you a quick minute to respond Boop. uh 